Okay, so when we look at some of the literature, we can see that the triceps uh, or the soleus, whatever you want to call it, is one potential restriction to um, dorsiflexion or lack of dorsiflexion, but also the actual joint at the, the tear of coral joint, okay? So the, the key thing here that we want to look at and we want to differentiate with our ankle joint range of motion is what's actually restricting this. Is it a joint problem or is it actually that there is some what we may call protective tone or some kind of inability of these tissues to lengthen, presumably laid down by the nervous system that is actually stopping this person accessing a full physiological joint range of motion? And that's the, the key question we want to um, understand with our patients. So again, such things like prolonged ankle immobilization or injuries to Achilles, where we're choosing not to use our um, ankle through a full range of motion is it just adaptations laid down and can we undo these um, quickly and easily or is there actual genuine pathology present where we might have a bone spur or something like that or we might have other things that are ultimately affecting the actual ankle joint so that's the key question with your ankle mobility and your ankle dorsiflexion assessment is it going to be an issue at the back of the joint or is it going to be um, an issue actually in the um, in the, the front of the joint okay so again with the front of the joint we're going to start to consider the calcaneus we're going to start to consider the talus and we're going to start to consider the ligaments around that whereas if we think it's um, an issue in the uh, the back of the joint then that's where we're going to be considering more maybe the the muscles okay so we're going to need a different approach depending on if we think it's um it's an anterior joint issue or if we think there's muscular involvement because if it's muscular involvement then we're going to be thinking about the nervous system a lot more if it's more of a joint um restriction then we're going to treat that slightly different